Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is multiplying two mixed numbers. Now, before we get started, what is a mixed number? Well, from our previous videos, we know that a mixed number is just a whole number and a fraction combined. So an example for a mixed number could be two and one-thirds, because two is a whole number and one-thirds is a fraction, and together they make two and one-thirds. So for like a real reality example could be, for example, you have two whole pizzas and one-third of a pizza. So now you have two and a third pizzas, okay? So that's one mixed number, and today we're going to be multiplying two mixed numbers. So another mixed number could probably be one and three-fourths. So now we have our problem 2 and 1 thirds times 1 and 3 fourths. Now the most important thing when multiplying two mixed numbers is that you cannot just directly multiply two mixed numbers. The basic um, like method is that you have to first convert them into improper fractions. Now what are improper fractions? Improper fractions are just fractions that have numerators that are greater than the denominators. And so we have to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. But how do we do that? Well, it's really simple. All you have to do is you take your denominator, which is in this case for our first mixed number, which is 2 and 1 third, 3 is our denominator, multiply that by your whole number, which is 2, and then add it to your 1. So that means 3 times 2 and then plus 1. So that means we have to do the same thing for here, so multiply denominator by the whole number, 4 times 1 plus the numerator, so plus 3. So now we have 2, So, or in other words, since we're doing denominator by whole number, we have 3 times 2 plus 1, so denominator times whole number plus numerator, and keep in mind that our denominator stays the same, so we will still have 3 as our denominator, so that's that. Now we bring down our multiplication sign and we do the same thing. So 4 times 1 plus 3 and our denominator stays the same, which is 4. So now we have 3 times 2 plus 1 over 3 times 4 times 1 plus 3 over 4. Now this may seem a little complicated, but remember, we're going to use the PEMDAS method to solve these numerators. So according to PEMDAS, we have to do parentheses first. So we're going to have to do 3 times 2. So we all know that 3 times 2 is 6. So now we have 6 plus 1 over 3. So now this is simplified, right? So now it's a little bit easier, right? 6 plus 1 over 3. Bring down the multiplication sign and do the same for our second mixed number, or now our improper fraction. So 4 times 1, as we all know, is 4 plus the 3. So 4 plus 3 over the same denominator, which is 4, okay? So now we have 6 plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus 3 over 4. So now all we have to do is add the numerators, right? So for 6 plus 1, we know is 7. So 7 over 3 bring down the multiplication sign, and then we have 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7 over 4. So now we have our two improper fractions, which are 7 over 3 times 7 over 4. Now, remember, when you have two improper fractions, or even if they are proper fractions, you just have to do direct multiplication. So we all know that 7 times 7 is 49, so we're going to bring the step over here. So we have 49, okay, over 3 times 4 is 12. So that means our answer is 49 over 12. Now look at this. The numerator is greater than the denominator, right? So that makes it an improper fraction. We can leave our answer like that, but it's better, it's like a better, better option to change this back to a mixed number so that our product is a mixed number, right? So how do you change an improper fraction to a mixed number? We already know how to change a mixed number to an improper fraction, but this time we have to do the reverse, right? So all you have to do to change an improper fraction to a mixed number is divide the numerator by the denominator. So now we have 49 divided by 12. So 49 divided by 12 According to our times tables, we know that 12 times 1 is 12, but 12 is less than 49, so we can keep going. 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 
Now 36 is a bit closer, but maybe we have another a product that is closer to 49. Now we know that 12 times 4 is 48, right? And 48 is very close to 49. If we were to keep on going and do 12 times 5, that would give us a 60, and 60 is greater than 49. So we can't do 12 times 5, so we're going to have to do 12 times 4 to get us 48. And now we have to subtract, so 48 and 49, the difference equals 1. So now you have your quotient and your remainder, so that's 4 and as your quotient and 1 as your remainder, but how do you make this into a mixed number? This is the basic, basic formula. You take your quotient, for instance, in this case, it's 4, that becomes your whole number. Your remainder, in this case, 1, becomes the, your numerator. And then your divisor, which is the number that you divide by, which is 12, becomes your denominator. So that means... To top it all off, 2 and 1 thirds times 1 and 3 fourths equals 4 and 1 twelfths. So that was really easy and I hope you guys understood this. Now once again you can visit our website to find more practice problems and stick around for more videos and we'll see you guys next time.